Okay, so I'm back again and I changed my hair colour, like I said. So in the video I'm going to show you what I'm taking and how I'm packing it. So firstly, you need a rucksack. Like this. My one is the 35 litre. So it's got zips on both sides. Extra storage here on both sides. It's got the extra padding on the back. Also, it's got a rain cover inside it underneath, which is really cool. I'm taking two pairs of shorts, a couple of dresses, a top for each day. Don't forget pyjamas. One bikini, one pair of flip flops, and a pair of trainers. So part of my packing, I'm using see-through plastic bags. It's going to be really useful because they're see-through and I can bag everything up separately so I know what I've got in each bag. Just like this. So I'm going to be taking a separate bag with me, just a small rucksack, just for when I've got my big rucksack at hostels or in lockers. So I'm taking a toiletry bag with me. I'm trying to limit all my things that I'll need, just in a little one like this. So I'm going to be taking a small cleanser, a small deodorant spray, a few cotton pads that I might need, toothpaste and I've got special toothbrush holders. I got these from B&M and they was like 49p. A small shower gel, a small travel size shampoo and conditioner. It's good if you can get a two in one. A high factor of sun cream, a small cream, also a roll on deodorant, bite and sting relief in case you get bitten by flies. <laughs> and any extra body sprays that you need, any special cream that you have or moisturiser. I'm taking a small bag with me that's see through so I can see what's inside it when I need it and it's going to have makeup and other bits in it. I defo take hand sanitizer. A small compact mirror. I'm taking some forehead with me, which is instead of paracetamol, you can just rub it on your forehead and it gets rid of headache. Just the makeup that I need. A pen, also a lock, just in case of any hostels that you stay in. Maybe they have lockers, but they don't have any locks. And then just like an extra hair bubble. So I did mention in the video, obviously, make sure you take underwear and stuff. Like, that's really important. But I'm going to be talking about my Interrail Pass that I got in the post the other day. People say it's like quite hard to use and everything, but I've read it a bit and I've looked up a bit about how to use it. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So it comes like this. And at the top you have your ticket. You get a little pass with it, like this. Which is really cool. So this is what I'm going to take all my documents in. So it says you have to have your passport with you when you're using your Interrail Pass, so like for ID. Keeping a pen in it, just for like every city and training that we go on, you have to write it down. But the seven day pass one. So I've got seven days that I can use for trains. So every day that you use it, so like say it's like today, then you write the date in and the month and then you can use trains all day long, however many you want on that one day. And then the next day, you have to then start your new day. So, so, in the back of one of the books, there is an example one. Okay, so here, like it says your day and your month and your time. That's where you'd write what day it was, what time you were traveling. And then from Vienna, as an example. And then you just write to whatever station it is. What transport are you using? Yeah, I hope this video helps you when you go traveling and helps you on an idea of what to take and how to pack it. So I'll probably upload some more videos before I go and then I'll be vlogging when I'm actually in Europe. So yeah, I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs>